This is an iconic image. We know from whence it came. We know that it was commissioned by the church. We know that uh, a brilliant individual had actually created it. Um, and it is a fascinating image. <laughs> That's for sure. We remember the uh, interesting controversies of things like, well, you know, the Dan Brown novels and all that kind of stuff and the Da Vinci Code and so on and so forth. But how about we get to the reality of it? There's two people sitting at the right and left of the Christ image in the Last Supper. Um, perhaps, Jordan, you'd like to explain what those two individuals are and what they represent. <clears throat> well, first of all, we need to explain that there are 12 individuals, on uh, six on each side of Jesus. That's important. Why is there 12 people at the Last Supper? The Last Supper is, of course, the last Passover meal because the Jews separated, they celebrated uh, the coming of spring, the, the new spring each year. They call it the Passover because the sun was passing officially over the equator coming back to the northern hemisphere. So they celebrated what we call today, what Christians call Easter. They The, the Jews had an Easter also, but they called it the Passover. And the Passover was the sun passing over from the southern uh, part of the planet to the across the equator. They passed over the equator, the sun did, bringing us our new life to, from spring. So it was dead in winter, so it's springing back to life in spring. And so the 12 people at the table with Jesus represents the 12 months of the year with the sun. Jesus is referred to as the sun. And, and and there's only one Jesus. But why? Because there's only one sun. We don't have six of them. We only got one sun that warms the earth and brings light to the world. So Jesus is referred to as the light of the world. Of course, he's God's son, the light of the world. And so to the right of Jesus, you will see at the table is a woman, one of the 12 one of the 12 months of the year, one of the chosen 12 apostles or the 12 brothers of Joseph or the 12 tribes of Israel or the 12 uh, 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 on, on the breastplate of the high priest, the 12 stones, the sacred stones. Everything in the Bible is done in a sequence of 12. Why? Because there's only 12 months in the year. And the 12 months of the year, uh, the sun is giving light to the world and so, therefore, the uh, the last Passover meal will be in the age of Aquarius for us, and so it's called the last the last supper. No, it's the last Passover meal. Mm. And so, to the right of Jesus, you will see a woman. She is considered to be one of the twelve apostles. Was a woman. Why? Because the twelve apostles represent the twelve months of the year or the 12 signs of the zodiac. And one of the primary symbols of the zodiac uh, is a female symbol, and it's called, uh, the female is called Virgo, the virgin. This is why Jesus is said to have been born of a virgin, because spring was always represented by Virgo, the constellation in the zodiac called Virgo, Virgo the Virgin. So naturally, one of the guests at the uh, at the Last Supper would be Virgo the Virgin, Jesus' mother. And so Jesus is born of a virgin. No, Virgo, the Virgin is Virgo, the constellation of Virgo, as one of the 12 signs of the zodiac. And so the one on the right, as you will see, is a woman, which is Virgo. I don't remember. I don't have the picture in front of me of the picture of the person on the on the left. But you will see all 12 are divided into four groups of three. There's three groups on the, on the one side and three groups next to it. Then Jesus, and there's three groups. And there's a third, and there's a fourth group of three. So why are there four groups of three? Because it's summer, spring, summer, autumn, winter. The four symbols of the sun in the age of the life of the sun. Right. The four seasons. The four seasons are the four groups of three. You know, and so 
each season is referred to as three months of the year. And so that's why today we see that the constellations of the 12 signs of the zodiac with their master teacher, which is the sun, the sun is giving his life so that you might live. And the reason why is because the sun is pure energy, and if it didn't give you energy every day, you couldn't grow food, and you couldn't grow nothing, and you would be dead if it doesn't rise tomorrow. So that's why we have a risen sun. And there's only one sun out there. We don't have five of them. So, therefore, Jesus is the only begotten sun. He's the only sun we have is God's sun, the light of the world. So the whole story of the New Testament is astrological, is called astrotheology. If you go back into history and trace all of this, trace it all back, you will see it goes back to Hinduism. Mm. It goes back to ancient Egypt and the Hindus. This is an incredible story that has been misrepresented to the world, and that's why there's so much confusion today. So just keep in mind that that whole uh, picture of the of the Last Supper is actually an astrological symbol of the sun, mm. God's sun, the light of the world, the sun we call Jesus. He's in the middle of his 12 months of the year or the 12 signs of the zodiac. Each mm. one of those individuals represents one of the signs of the zodiac.